Welcome to Advent Episcopal Church to our Wednesday night healing service. Tonight we will celebrate St. Luke the Evangelist. Let us begin with, Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you our hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, who inspired your servant Luke, the physician, to set forth in the gospel the love and healing power of your son, graciously continue in your church this love and power to heal. To the praise and to the glory of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the first reading. A reading from Sirach. Honor physicians for their services, for the Lord created them, for the gift of healing comes from the Most High, and they are rewarded by the King. The skill of physicians makes them distinguished, and in the presence of the great they are admired. The Lord created medicines out of the earth, and the sensible will not despise them. And he gave skill to human beings that he might be glorified in his marvelous works. By them the physician heals and takes away pain. The pharmacist takes a mixture from them. God's work, works will never be finished. And from him health spreads over all the earth. My child, when you are ill, do not delay. But pray to the Lord and he will heal you. Give up of your faults and direct your hands rightly and cleanse your heart from all sin. Then give the physician his place, for the Lord created him. Do not let him leave you, for you need him. There may come a time when recovery lies in the hands of physicians, for they too pray to the Lord that he grant them success in diagnosis and in healing for the sake of preserving life. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. We read Psalm 147, verses 1 through 7, responsively. Hallelujah. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant, How pleasant it is, is to honor, honor him with praise. praise. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem. He, he gathers the exiles of Israel. Israel. He heals the brokenhearted. And binds, binds up their, up their wounds. wounds. He counts the number of the stars. And calls, and calls them, them all by their names. names. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. There is no limit to his wisdom. The Lord lifts up the lowly. But cast the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the harp. The Holy Gospel of Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Christ. Jesus, filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, returned to Galilee, and reports about him spread throughout all the surrounding country. He began to teach in their synagogues and was praised by everyone. When he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom. He stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found a place where it was written, quote, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me, bringing good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressive go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. 
The eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. They began to say to them, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. Tonight we celebrate St. Luke the Evangelist, and he was one of the four evangelists who traditionally ascribed author of the canonical Gospels. The early church fathers ascribed to him authorship of both the Gospel of Luke and the Acts of the Apostles, which meant Luke contributed to over one-fourth of the texts of the New Testament more than any other author. The New Testament mentions Luke briefly a few times, and the Pauline epistles to the Colossians refers to him as a physician from the Greek, one who heals. Thus, he was thought to have been both a physician and a disciple of Paul. Since the early years of faith, Christians have regarded him as a saint. He is believed to have been a martyr, reportedly having been hanged from an olive tree. The Catholic Church and other major denominations venerate St. Luke the Evangelist as a patron saint of artists, physicians, bachelors, surgeons, students, and butchers. His feast day is October 18th. Luke the Evangelist is also remembered in the Church of England with a festival on October 18th. Many scholars believe that Luke was a Greek physician who lived in the Greek city of Antioch in ancient Syria. Although some other scholars and theologians think Luke was a Hellenistic Jew, Bart Colt, a researcher and professor of theology, has stated that it was widely accepted that the, the theology of Luke and the Acts pointed to a Gentile Christian writing for a Gentile audience, although he concluded that it is more plausible that Luke's Acts is directed to the community made up of both Jews and Gentile Christians because there is, stru is stress on the scriptural roots of the Gentile mission. Gregory Sterling, dean of Yale Theology School, claims that he was either a Hellenistic Jew or a, quote, God-fearer which is a Gentile who sympathizes with the Hellenistic Jews. If one accepts that Luke was indeed the author of the gospel bearing his name and also the Acts of the Apostle, certain details of his personal life can be reasonably assumed. While he does exclude himself from those who were eyewitness to Jesus' ministry, he repeatedly uses the word we in describing the Pauline mission in the Acts of the Apostle, including that he was personally there for that time. Luke was also present in Rome with the Apostle Paul near the end of Paul's life, and it was attested by 2 Timothy, quote, only Luke is with me. In the last chapter of the books of the Acts, widely ascribed to Luke, there are several accounts in the first person also affirming Luke's presence in Rome, including Acts 28, verse 16, quote, and when we came to Rome, end quote. According to some accounts, Luke is also contributed to the authorship of the epistle to the Hebrews. Luke died at age 84 in Bistonia, according to a fairly early and widespread tradition. According to a Greek historian in the 14th century and others, Luke's tomb was located in Ti Tiberius, whence his relics were transferred to Constantinople in the year 357. Most scholars understand Luke's work in Luke's and the Acts in the tradition of Greek historiography, based on his acute description of towns, cities, islands, as well as currently naming various official titles. According to archaeologist William Ramsey, he wrote that, quote, Luke is a historian of first rank, 
Not merely his statement of facts are trustworthy. He should be placed along with the very greatest of historians. Christian traditions starting from the 18th century states that Luke was the first icon painter. He is said to have painted pictures of the Virgin Mary and child. So let us remember St. Luke tonight, the physician and apostle. Let us now name before God those whom we wish to pray. Jerry. Let us offer our prayers for God's healing, saying, Hear and have mercy. Holy God, source of health and salvation. Here and, Here and have mercy. Holy and mighty, wellspring of abundant life. Here and have mercy. Holy and mortal one, protector of the faithful. Here and have mercy. Holy Trinity, the source of all, all wholeness. Here and, Here and have, have mercy. mercy. Blessed Jesus, your holy name is medicine for the healing and promise of eternal life. Here, Here and, and have, have mercy. mercy. Jesus, the center of David, you healed all who came to you in faith. Here, Here and have, have mercy. mercy. Jesus, child of Mary, you embrace the world with your love. Here Here and have have mercy. mercy. Jesus, divine physician, you sent your disciples to preach the gospel and heal in your name. Here Here and have have mercy. Jesus, our true mother, you feed us the milk of your compassion. Here Here and have have mercy. mercy. Jesus, son of God, you take away our sin and make us whole. Here Here and have have mercy. mercy. Jesus, eternal Christ, your promised spirit renews our hearts and minds. Hear and have mercy. Grant your grace to heal those who are sick. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Give courage and faith to all who are disabled through injury or illness. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Comfort, relieve, and heal all sick children. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Give courage to all who await surgery. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Support and encourage those who live with chronic illness. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have have mercy. Strengthen those who endure continual pain and give them hope. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have have mercy. Grant the refreshment of peaceful sleep to all who suffer. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Befriend all who are anxious, lonely, or despondent, or afraid. We we pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Restore those with mental illness to clarity of mind and hopefulness of heart. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Give rest to the weary and hold the dying in your loving arms. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Help us to prepare for death with confident expectation and hope of Easter joy. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Give your wisdom and compassion to healthcare workers that they may minister to the sick and dying with knowledge, skill, and kindness. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Help all those who keep watch for the sick. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Guide those who search for the causes and cures of sickness and disease. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Jesus, Lamb of God. Hear and have mercy. Jesus, bearer of our sins. Hear and have mercy. Jesus, redeemer of the world. Hear and have mercy. O Lord our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people. In the multitude of your mercies, look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are generous, O lover of souls, and you are giver of glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Savior of the world by your cross and precious blood, you have redeemed us. Save us and help us. We humbly beseech you, O Lord. 
Almighty God, who is a strong tower to all who put their trust in him, to whom all things in heaven and earth and under earth bow and obey, be now and evermore your defense and make you known and feel that in the name under heaven given for health and salvation is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Those who would like a blessing, please come forward. O God of peace, you have taught us that in returning and rest, we shall be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence, that we may be still and know that you are God. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, and with the Holy Spirit, now let him now live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for being here. Please stand. May the Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever say this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, 
Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give you thanks, O God, for your goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the call of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus your Son. For on the day you sent him to be incarnate of the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world, in him you have delivered us out of evil, you have made us worthy to stand before him. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is the blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his commandment, O Father, we remember his death, we reclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer you our sacrifice and praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be made the sacrament of, his, of the body of Christ and the blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in this sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit, and in the fullness of time, bring all things in subjection unto your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country where with the effort of Virgin Mary and all your saints and Saint Luke, we may enter into the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrifice for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ has died, on you for, died for you and feed on him in your hearts with love. All are welcome to the Lord's table.
Please stand. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we give you praise and thanks for this Holy Communion of the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the pledge of our redemption, and we pray that it may bring us forgiveness of our sins, strengthen us in our weakness and everlasting salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of God our Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. May you go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God.